Turpin Time with Dick Turpin is a production of the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Now here's a tip that all you anglers are going to, I think, be appreciative of. You know, when you get out there to the lake, this is one of the things you always have to do. you got to take that line off that reel, run it up through the guides on the rod, and invariably what you do is you get it through one, you get it through two. That and ain't your tip, Turpin. You get it through two, and then you let go, something happens, and it falls back down, maybe goes two or three guides, and there you are. So it's just tough to do that. Now, here's a tip. Here's the tip. You didn't think that up, Turpin. Double the line over. Double it over like this, leave yourself a couple of feet, run it up through those guides that way with that loop in there. Now then, what happens is, if you get up here and drop it, the loop won't let it go clear back down. That wasn't through. your idea. The loop won't fall back down through, so you can't lose it. Then you can just take it on out and put it right on up in the in through your tip, and you've got your lines fine. That was not your tip, Turpin. That was my tip. Who is this one? I hope you don't think that I've got these on my feet because I think they're snowshoes. No, no. This is a little game you can do in the winter time to get the kids out of the house. Take half inch plywood, cut you some great big feet like Sasquatch, and then go out here in the timber someplace, prior, prior to getting the kids out, go out in the timber someplace out in the country and, and lay out a trail. Weave it around and then at the end of that trail, have you a nice big bonfire and have all the materials you need to make s'mores. Give the kids a reward. Now, while you're doing all this, you can be showing them squirrel tracks, rabbit tracks, deer, turkey, whatever you run onto. Give them a little outdoor education, you know what I mean? What's that crunch? Is that a Sasquatch? Is there really a, oh, <laughs> it's my wife coming over. Well, I better get going and lay out this track. Thanks, this is a good tip. Thanks for watching. You know, here's a handy item to have in your boat. If you're a fisherman or a boater, is one of these good magnets. This is a 100 pounder. Hook a real good line on it, probably 25, 30 feet you're gonna want. And boy, how do these things around a boat dock when you're putting in your boat just dab. You'd be surprised the stuff you pick up just dabbing this around there. I've picked up wrenches, cigarette lighters, fishing lures, plackers, just a, just a myriad of things. So this is kind of fun to have. They, you know, they'll pick up, I got my hammer laying here. Don't have to bend over, because that magnet, when it gets on that thing, you can pick it up. These things really work. I'll tell you, you gotta be careful though. I was out on the lake one day, hooked onto something that was almost like fighting a fish. I got it up, and I had a beautiful mermaid hooked right with the belt buckle. Wife made me throw her back. <laughs>